So I just want to take a little casual look at this new 85th anniversary Marvel Legends Venom, which is basically a take on the original one that we got in a three pack, which is basically a take on the Omega Red body. It's been utilized quite a few times, but this is something that people have asked for over and over again. Uh, a lot of people were upset that the three pack version was part of a three pack, but now you get the opportunity to get this single carded, retro carded. And if you are a weirdo, then maybe you didn't want to open this at all. But of course, I opened mine. That's how he looks. Stock right out of the package. Here's his predecessor here on the right. You can see some differences right off the bat. You can see some little symbiotic tendrils popping up here on the shoulders on the original three pack version. You can see that the spider's emblem is a little different on both. It's also whiter on the newer one. And you can see how they differ on the back. You can see how the colors on the head sculpt, well, the colors on the mouth, the tongue, and how the white paint on the back of the hand differs as well. Same deal with the paint on the fist. You can see they differ. But definitely the draw here with the new one is that you don't have to purchase a whole three pack to get this guy. And if you've been purchasing all of the Venoms prior, then you definitely have quite a few things to like mix and match and do some panels and do some great display work with. You even got options with the old Kankle Venom. These hands are a little smaller. The white paint is a little different on these as well, but these open hands are a little more relaxed. The head scope is different. And I believe it was this Venom, maybe it was the one after this one that came with a head scope and some symbiotic material that you can use on the new Venom. Actually, Scratch utilizing the hands because the pegs on the Kenko Venom are different. They can't really pop into where the uh, it would on the wrist. But you can use that head sculpt, which looks pretty damn good. It's not bad, especially for an older Venom. And just so you can see how it looks alongside the newer version. And yeah, this is an option. I forget which Venom this came with. It may have been that Kenko one, but you know, you could do it with or without this little symbiotic coiling tendrils here. Not bad. This was definitely one of the big draws of the three pack Venom. So obviously this uh, sort of half mask head scope is a little more detailed than the previous one I just showed, but pretty nice. And again, you got options. If you've been collecting, then you have all of these little interchangeable parts that you can mix and match. The original version though, you would actually plug this into a peg hole in the back, but you know, that doesn't really matter. You can still fudge it for sure. That's pretty cool. And then I've showed a bunch of these in the past, but just swapping these on to the newer single carded version, some of the older Venom head sculpts that we've received. I think that previous one might have been Marvel Select. I'm not 100% sure. I guess I have something popping up. This was one of the ones that came with the Null Venom, if I'm not mistaken. It doesn't pop all the way on the peg, but again, you could fudge it. You could even fudge the Monster Venom version, which is a little large, but just in terms of the angle, you could do something. But yeah, I would definitely recommend the single carded version, especially if you've been picking up all of the Venoms prior because you can do everything that I just showed you and it's better for displaying for your uh, playability fun factor, you know? Just for a little more clarity here, just to be 100% clear, this head here on this body, the original Venom uh, from the three pack has the sort of redder tongue and I've had this head on the newer body this entire time. But this sort of more muted color on the tongue and this head sculpt goes with the newer single carded Venom. And also the big difference here is the torso. So on the original, you had the swivel and you had the crunch. And on the newer version, you do not have the swivel anymore. You have that double sort of ab crunch. You got the ab crunch and then the upper torso articulation. Also, as it relates to these head sculpts, the head sculpt on the left is from the Kenkel Venom, and you can see how the teeth and eyes differ. Also, that head is a little smaller, and then this is the newer head sculpt with the more pronounced teeth, and the head is a little larger.
So yeah, 85th anniversary Marvel Legends Venom. As you guys know, I think the 85th anniversary program is one of Marvel Legends best in years. All hits. I've had minor gripes with some of these things. These are nine of the 10, but overall it's been heat. I put up a little quick synopsis of the Hulkbuster, the modern Hulkbuster on Instagram. And I think it's a great figure, massive. I think there could have been a bit more detail. I would have liked to see another Another set of open hands where you can attach like blast effects and they should have included some booster effects as well that would have made the offering more complete and more worth the asking price but to be fair if this was a builder figure you would spend 160 170 or something like that to get every figure in the wave to complete this massive builder figure so 60 to have it complete and in one package it's not a bad deal i do wish that the head sculpt was smaller and more proportional with other regular suited bodies or other bodies from Marvel Legends. The head is a tad too big to swap it onto other bodies, but proportionally it looks good on the Hulkbuster armor. I wish there was some way to actually flip open the hatch for where the head would go so it looked more seamless, but obviously you can fudge it and do different things. And I wish you didn't have to snap the chest armor on and that it didn't hinder any of the articulation in any way. But for such a massive figure, it is pretty well articulated and it certainly dwarfs the old classic Hulkbuster that we got from Toy Biz. I see a lot of people saying they're going to hold out for a follow-up Hulkbuster of that sort of classic look. I think that could happen. But again, that's nine of 10 of the 85th anniversary stuff or eight of 10 that I actually have in hand. But I do still have Ghost Rider, uh, Extra Wolverine and Odin on my pile of loot at Big Bad Toy Store been seeing some really good things in terms of the response to Odin reviews and what have you. I did talk about in the last update that Toy Blocks has an Odin throne that they're putting together that they're going to start having for retail basically. And then this pretty much completes again, one of Marvel Legends best series of all time. I'm sure quite a few of these offerings will make people's top 10 at the end of the year. I'm in the game, I'm grinding, I got to play 24 hours in the day, 7 days out the week, I never sleep I'm on my grizzly bear, 52 weeks out the year, yeah